let me just go in, right? Let me just try this thing. Okay. Shishi. Oh, Shishi. It comes in different forms and it's a choice, a preference on how you like it. And that, in the English language, we call it Drodders. Yes, Drodders. I knew it totally in recent time and becoming to love and appreciate Shushi. The craft, the creation and the taste of the hard work of those who made it possible. Oh, it's made to be appreciated. By now, I'm assuming we all know where Shushi originated from. And if that's the case, it gives us an opportunity and open the doors to learn about something else. Something like this. The conveyor bell sushi. Have you ever heard of it? Or maybe you do. Or maybe you don't. Well, if that's the case, allow me to refresh your memories and let's dip back in time to the very beginning. You see, conveyor bell sushi restaurant can be found across Japan and it's expanding fast across the globe. To me, I find it the way forward, and it's cool and inventive. Yukiashi Sharishi was the name behind the creation. Or should I say, he invented the conveyor bell shishi in 1914 to 2001. His genius thinking led to a substantial performance of his restaurants. During those times, he was having problems staffing his small restaurants and found it difficult to manage everything on its own. A couple of years later, in the 1970s, Convio Bell Shushi started to boom and kept booming onto the Hades. And now, in recent time, Convio Bell Shushi is still admired. And today, for the first time, I'm trying Convio Bell Shushi restaurants at the Mall of Malaysia, or in other words, the Sorel KLCC Mall in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Food is amazing, right? You go to the street for the night market, it's just fantastic. You go to Penang, you've got some of the most amazing food, and I've tried some of the most, of course, man, you know, some of the most epic food. The food is absolutely good, so that's why I'm actually heading to one of the most popular places, of course, here in Kuala Lumpur. Yeah, I'm talking about the Petronas Tower and also the mall. They call it the Surya KLCC Mall. The Surya KLCC Mall, literally, man. So I'm going there and trying some food. that building there? That's where I'm staying. Don't be jealous. Oh man, I am starving on the star man. I'm so hungry. Right, so I'm going to make my way inside and get the police vehicle there. Right, yeah. Let me just wait. Let me just wait. Let me just wait. <laughs> I love the uniform, man. They look so smart. So yeah, um, pretty much. I'm gonna end time now. Yeah. You all know I love me a skeleton. Hello. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, young man. Thank you. So you all know I love me a skeleton. Escalator. Oh, made it up now to the first floor. So. Let's keep exploring, going all the way up. People will be like, what are you talking about, man? It's just nonsense. Look at that, it's not nonsense, right? Now I'm in my way now to Malaysia Mall and I'm entering the Shushi King to try Shushi. The Conveyor Bell Shushi. Oh, I'm flabbergasted. I can't wait. 
Is that the thing works here? Is you see what you like, you grab it. Oh, you grab it, hold on tight to it, and you fist. And guess what? It's cheap. Right, so the battle is about to start now. So you just you see all the thing is going around, it's rotation, it's moving, it's like at the airport and stuff like that. The whole these people sitting down and dining. Oh, this is an amazing, exciting thing, man. So I'm just gonna try a little few things. So these are the prize there. Yeah? So you can see them just focus. Yeah, you see this one, the ring here. Yeah? And that is just to show you the price tag, yeah? So the tag is like $6.95. If you find any player with a black ring, and then this one is a red, pink, blue, orange and stuff like that. So then, yeah, you know. Anyways, um, let's see which one I should go with. Which one's gonna be the one for me? I'm not gonna go for anything expensive though. Just a quick tour around, you know what I mean? So you can just sit down and just sit. It's, it's such a unique experience, man, I love it. Absolutely love it. Okay, let me see which one caught my heart. Let's see. Let me see. Oh, let me see. Okay, this one. Right, this one caught my eye, mate. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at his goodness. Right, so these are all my order, right? So, of course, the egg mayo, the so tuna mayo, macaron, and of course, California macaron as well. So, the prize is just for that. It's not that, not that bad, okay? Not that bad at all. Okay, so while I'm waiting, let me just go in, right? Let me just try to do it. Okay, here we go. Hoping this. Let's try this. sauce yeah <laughs> crazy taste it's a wasabi wasabi is mad expensive you know so um i'm actually gonna use all of it <laughs> so i'm gonna put the wasabi on the top on this one that on the top there a lot of wasabi oh it's gonna be amazing So that wasabi was way too much. I would never. I'm, I'm not a fan of wasabi. Uh, 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 uh. Not a fan of wasabi. I would never have wasabi again. I would never have a wasabi. And I had a lot of it as well. That was the first time. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I think that's all I'm getting, yeah? Thank you. So there we go. So of course this is the it's the most expensive menu. That's a California Maki. Crab stick, cucumber, omelette with fish. There's a fish roll something like that as well, so which is quite cool. Right, I, I don't know how much it will cost me. Maybe like 15 ringgit for all of this. Struggling, I am struggling. Out to you, the top speed. Oh my god. Look at it, it's so good as well. Oh my god. Oh yeah. This is something, man. Such a unique experience for me. Mm -hmm. 
and those last two things I had were sick. I love it. So that's it, man. I'm gonna go find something a bit better to eat, man. I'm gonna pile it up here yeah? and then they're gonna charge me. How much will this thing cost me? I didn't have a lot though, so, but some people come here, they will eat, eat, eat a lot, man. Right, and bring my check. There we go. <laughs> yeah, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Hello there, how are you? <laughs> Brilliant, okay. It's not gonna be that bad. That's cool. All lesson learned on Londis for me. For those who never tried sushi or wasabi before, all those two are spectacular. But please have in mind, if you're going to apply any wasabi on your sushi, make sure you put a little bit, just a little bit. And if you're overpowering it, oh my god, goodbye. You're going to die if you can't stand it. That's good. try convey well sushi well i can tell you for sure maybe sushi might not be your cup of tea but for me i like it oh i like it like it because the thing was so good and good and especially in malaysia oh it's so chippy chippy oh i like it like it yeah If you enjoyed this episode and new to this channel, why not subscribe and watch this next?